So here we go. We are going to build the model shed. A um, couple of things just to get you started. Um, if you come down here to model info, we want to make sure we have things set right. So we're going to make sure the format is set to inches in so half inch and we're going to change the precision to one eighth. Uh, if it's over here, just click on it. So we have format at one half, precision at one eighth, and then you can just close that. All right. Now everything should be a little more easy to understand as we start doing things. Uh, we're going to start by making the concrete slab. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool, which I could come over and get, or I can use the hot key, just push R. And I'm going to start at the origin right here. I'm going to click. I am not holding the mouse down. And I'm going to type my dimensions. Okay, so the key here is you need to take your hand off the mouse because if you bump the mouse while you're typing, it resets everything that was showing up down here. Okay, so hand off mouse. I'm going to go eight apostrophe. So it's eight feet wide, comma, 13 feet six inches and to get the quotation mark again it's shift quotation mark or shift apostrophe turns it into a quotation mark if you do two apostrophes it thinks feet okay that's the way the computer works and then i just push enter all right here's my concrete pad i'm going to get my push pull tool by pushing p uh, or you can come get it right here. This is our push pull tool. I click and again take my hand off the mouse and I just type six shift quotation for six, in six inches thick. All right, so that is our concrete pad. So I'm going to make this a component. I just hit spacebar to get my selection tool and I'm going to triple click. That way everything is selected because if I click one, that's a face. If I double click, that's a face in the edges. But if I triple click, I get everything. Right click, make component. And I'm going to give this a name. I'm just going to call it concrete slab. Pretty self explanatory. And just click OK. All right, so it's changed it. Um, we can now build stuff on top of the concrete slab. Um, and so that's the first part, concrete slab done. Let's build a wall. So for the wall, we're going to need some two by fours. And if you recall down, let's see, I have it open right here. So in our framing technology, um, we need First off, a sill plate. We're not going to have um, the, the joists, the rim board, but we do need this bottom plate um, slash sill plate um, to start with. So we're going to have the bottom plate, the top plate. Eventually, we'll add the double top plate, um, and we need the studs. So what we're doing now is bottom plate, top plate, and studs. Okay, so back to SketchUp. Um, a two by four, interestingly enough, is not actually two inches by four inches. A two by four is actually one and a half by three and a half. How's that for awesome? So I'm going to draw a square. It doesn't matter where, but it's going to be. 1.5 shift quotation, comma, 3.5 shift quotation, enter. All right. And I'm going to make this, I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to make it eight feet tall. Okay. So I'm going to type eight apostrophe enter. There is our first chunk of wood. Um, we're going to make this a component. So I triple clicked, make component. I'm going to call this, I'm just going to call this two by four. 
I'm going to click OK. I'm going to move this somewhere else. Okay, I'm going to this. I'm going to copy this hundreds of times by the time we're done. I'm just going to set it out here for now. I'm going to click. Uh, I've got my move tool already, so I'm going to hit Control. Now I have another one. I'm going to move this over here, and we want to make this one special. So we're going to click Make Unique. So now anything I do to this one is only going to happen to this one and not to that one. All right. So let's uh, set that board down. We're going to get my rotate tool. And uh, it helps to zoom in. So I've zoomed in. I'm just going to grab it on a corner here. I'm going to come up. I'm going to tip it. And I'm just going to type 90 for 90 degrees and hit enter. And then I'm going to get my move tool again. And we're going to drag it right over here. All right. So you notice that we need another one, huh? So let's move that. Um, and I actually want to grab it on this end so I can match it up there. But we need to cut that one. So this one, I'm going to get my selection tool, right click. I'm going to make it unique as well. Okay, and then I'm going to double click so I can edit. We're going to push this. We're going to cut it down to the correct size. All right, so there's the bottom plate for our wall. The top plate, we're going to do basically the same thing, but we're going to move it up eight feet. Okay, so I'm going to take this one. I'm going to move this. Got uh, control. I want it on the blue axis. We're going to go, and I'm just going to type eight apostrophe enter. Okay. So now our eight foot stud, when we move that over there, should fit just great. Um, what I am. Hmm, so one thing we want to take into consideration is we do have this break here. Um, we might have to make a little change to this. We could switch them. We could put the eight footer on this end for the top. But we're going to try this and just see how it looks. So I'm going to get this one, move, hit M for move, hit control to copy. I'm going to grab it right at that corner. Always be very specific when you grab something so you can match it. You can infer and match it, okay? All right, so we're gonna get another two by four, move, copy, control. Again, I grabbed it at that corner. We're gonna set it right at that corner. And we're going to make this unique. Oh, so when I, here's a perfect example. I grabbed this at the top, and didn't move it up far enough. So I actually am going to select both of these, holding the shift key so I can select both of them. I'm going to move that up to the top of that eight foot two by four. Okay. So we're going to put uh, these on 16 inch centers. I can't remember if I made this unique. So let's just make sure, make unique. All right, I already made it unique, so it's different. It's fine. We're going to put these on 16 inch centers. So I've got it selected. Get my move tool. I'm going to hit control for copy. I'm going to move this 16 inches. So I'm going to type 1, 6, shift quotation, enter. And then I want them spaced out that way all the way across. So I'm going to push uh, X or the star times. And I'm, let's estimate high. I'm going to say 15. Enter. And it spread them all out. And yeah, I had a few extras, didn't I? All right. So we can just delete these. I just select, no, nope, don't want to do that. I'll just select all of those and hit the delete button. There is our wall. Um, there's only one change we need to make. Uh, the 16 inch centers didn't quite come out right. So I'm just going to grab this. I'm going to move it to the end right there. And there's wall one. So 
Um, we don't have to do all of this work again for the other side. We can take this whole thing and copy it over to the other side. Um, let's show you how to do that. And I think we'll be done for this video and we'll show you the, the other parts in a few other videos. Uh, first thing we want to do is we want to make this whole thing a component. So for just a second, I'm going to hide this. So I have it selected. I'm going to right click. And if I click on hide, it's gone. And that makes it really easy for me to just select all of those, right click, and I'm going to make these components into a single component. We're going to call this wall. Click OK. All right. So there's our wall. It's now a component. It'll select everything. If I double click, these are components inside of a component. And if I want to edit one of these, I'm going to have to double click on that. And I have to click out and click out again to get it back out. So let's see. Um, I have to remember how to unhide on this version of SketchUp. And might take me a minute. I think it's under com uh, components, instructor, components right there. Nope, that's the warehouse. Okay, so there's my concrete slab. We want, nope, not there. Just put it right back. Okay. There's another way to unhide, but I'll have to figure that out in a minute. So now I'm going to take this, move, control. We're going to grab it right here. And we're going to park that guy right there. All right. Two walls done. And the slab.